Hey, hey guys, what's up? Oh my. Hello. Oh my god, guys. We're in audio format. Yeah, this is crazy. Good thing our SoundCloud's dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hello, Blake. Hello, Colby. Hello, David. Hello, Colby. Uh, and Blake. Thank you. Hello, David. <laughs> thank you for listening or tuning in right now to the Keep Tapping X 2019 Game of the Year podcast, I guess. Yeah. Uh, audio special, audio know, special, we're gonna yeah. This. Where we're going to talk about not only our top three game of the year uh, for 2019, but also some honorable mentions yeah. and what the game of the decade. Holy of the shit. Decade. guys! Shit. It's the end of 2019. Ah, it is yeah. the 20, 26. <laughs> it's about to be 2020. Record this. I'm yeah. old. Yeah, my yeah. birthday yeah. soon. Oh yep. man, mine too. David's like 40. When, when's your birthday? June. You son of a bitch. What? <laughs> So, uh, let's not waste any time. Uh-huh. Uh Go right into it. We're gonna go a round tape, round robin mm-hmm. with our top threes first, and you know, clockwise, counterclockwise. Yeah, let's start with you, Blake. Oh man. Yeah, you're first. All right, ready. So, uh, also, um, you know, uh, thank you. I'm just gonna say it right now, thank you for tuning into our shows and various, you know, our Dokkan, our new show initiative, Who's Dokkan? all of our let's plays. Uh, throughout the year, you guys are the real flash game back. of the years. Yep, thank you so much. <laughs> flashback. Yep, thank every you. view is appreciated. Yeah, absolutely. Except you. <laughs> you know who you are. Uh, dude, I was about to like, say your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cut it, cut it. All right, Blake, your game of the year number three. Number three for 2019. What do we got? I got uh huh. The new, the latest, the greatest. Uh huh. Pokemon Sword. Wow. Ooh, nice, nice. A later entry in the so, year. All right. Uh, full full disclosure, I haven't beaten the game yet. Mm-hmm. You know, it's uh-huh. been busy. I, I just got my third badge. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You don't hear a lot of that. This, uh, <laughs> But, um, all right. So, you know, we all heard the complaints about the game before it came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, the killing of a lot of Pokemon. Yeah. Murders. Mm-hmm. Uh, wa- wonky peace. animations. Yeah. Um, weird graphical issues. Mm-hmm. But, um... The game's fun. So the game has a strong theme, like theming to mm, it. Which British people. Po- Pokemon always had. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Pokemon has always had like fairly good theming in terms, but um, was bottled down by like, trying to stay in tradition. I think Pokemon Sword and Shield do this interesting thing where like they change the mechanics of gyms, mm-hmm. and they made everything around the theme of that that football, yeah, kind yeah. of you know that contest. Uh, theming to it and that's really compelling and i like really enjoy that about mm-hmm. it uh, so so in, in the lead up of uh pokemon sword i was like i have to beat the last pokemon game oh pokemon is, that, is that what you so yeah. i I, oh, yeah. I i was binging it because like i made it to like pony island and i was like what? Hmm, it, it's it's one of it's pony, pony with an eye uh, uh, sure oh, yeah pony <laughs> island yeah so I was like, okay. oh, fuck, I really got to be- I-, I need to beat this before I play the other Pokemon game, right? Yeah. So I ended up beating it the day it came out. Wow. Know. Damn. It, it took longer Jeez. than I thought it would. Okay. And then I started playing Pokemon Sword, and I was like, I don't remember much from Pokemon Sun. I- you know, like, so Pokemon Sword already has, like, some, like, banger tracks. You know, like, the yeah. gym the gym theme is, like, really good. Yeah. Uh-huh. I can't remember any music from this from one? Pokemon mm. Sun. No, oh, from, from, from the last game. I'm just oh. like compare and contrast, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think, I don't know, I don't think I like Sun that much. But Pokemon Sword, I'm digging. It's fun. Yeah. Um, Pokemon are like out in the open, kind of like a Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go. Yeah, uh, exactly. It's a change of form, yeah. which is like much needed for that franchise. Uh-huh. Maybe that's why you don't remember Sun or like care for Sun very well, mm-hmm. because they, they only just started to kind of change a few things about mm-hmm. it, but haven't and, fully and committed Sun yet. Sun had this really, really frustrating bad um call for help mechanic oh like you're trying to capture one pokemon and then it's like oh it called for help and a couple others fall from the sky and you can't catch that pokemon Uh, unless you defeat the other two right right and like especially like you know hindsight is 2020 terrible awful mechanic i'm glad it's not in this game um, now you get raid battles yeah. and Dynamax. Yeah. <laughs> Dynamax is such a weird thing to me, but I think it's cool. Yeah. Well, when you do it in the gyms, like the crowd starts chanting, it's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know, it's 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 lit. It's like cult um, members. <laughs> uh, I, I'm looking f- forward to playing more. Uh, 
I'm digging it so far, okay. and that's why that's it's my I'm number three game of the year for 2019. Lock it in, boys. <laughs> <laughs> going also, this way. What? Just, uh, go this way. All right. Uh, disclaimer: uh-huh. uh, These are all our opinions, so like, frick off if you don't agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's, I assume they're only you don't games agree. That we've subscribe. Played. Yeah. Like, what? Like, yeah. Like, hope so. It's only games we've played. Like, I'm not gonna put a game yeah. I haven't played on the list. Uh-huh. Metroid Prime Four. Yeah. yeah. Okay, David. All right, David. What is your number three 2019 game of the year? My number three. Yep. Is Bloodstained. Oh. oh! oh! Yeah, but uh, uh, by uh, can I, that can one I guy. Not waste time here. J- yeah, my number three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twenty nineteen game of the year is Bloodstained. I, I, I Holy Curse shit. of the Moon. I just wait. Oh, Curse of the Moon. I, no, I'm the other one. I'm, I'm sorry, Ritual of the Night. Yeah, Ritual of the Night. Ritual of the Night. Yeah. Isn't Curse of the Moon like the eight bit one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I didn't even know you played it. Yeah, I only recently oh, wow. a couple weeks ago started playing it. You yeah. guys should be friends. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. You we have so much in common. Let's um, get married. Yeah, but I th- sure. Uh, I think. Um, <laughs> It's number three for me just because it really like perfects the Metroidvania style. Mm. Like, Egovania. It's it, what? Egovania. Yeah. What? It's like the creator. Yeah. Oh. Ega. <laughs> uh yeah, it, it it feels tight. Like uh-huh. every, like what? the the gameplay of it is really uh, there's so much to it. Yeah. Like yeah. there's a lot of different mechanics you can play with and mm-hmm. all the different abilities. because every enemy drops shards that you can absorb which mm. give you their ability oh, really? there's like a lot ability. of them yeah a but, lot for every enemy every single enemy has like one maybe even more yeah uh, and then there's like tons of different weapon types that all have their own different skills oh, yeah you can use those in combination with the skills you get from the monsters mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. it's like like the amount of customization in that game is so crazy that I found multiple ways to break the game in different ways. Yeah and I loved yeah, it. Yeah no no it's <laughs> it's it's this a lot of content especially for a game that was kickstarted you know one of the most successful yeah. kickstarters for a game but um you know this has the story of when it first uh like rolled up the packs or you know public events people were like that sucks like this yeah. looks ugly this is mm-hmm. garbage like it's gonna be another mighty number nine so they reeled it back yeah. and re basically remade the game yeah. as they were uh making it yeah. And, mm-hmm. and it just worked out really well. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was gonna ask, was it worth the delays? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And there's there's tons of content too. There's a lot of side quests for like yeah. every NPC gives you like a huge mm-hmm. side quest chain. And I don't know if you found it yet, and it's not not really a spoiler, but you can find the first level of the original Castlevania in that game. What really, what? dude? I yeah. found one thing. <laughs> there's a shovel knight enemy. It's legit yeah. just shovel yeah, knight. There's uh-huh. a big buff shovel dude, yeah. and you he drops his armor. It's an yep. EX shovel armor, and when you put it on you basically play Shovel Knight. Yeah. Like, you have, like, the down pogo mm. attack with his uh, with his shield yeah, or yeah. his Let's shovel. Shovel Knight's in, like, 40 other games. Yeah. I know. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Uh, and I'm glad you made it in this one, too. And that... you can pretty much play Street Fighter, too, if you put on the shoes as a weapon. Yeah. There's so many, like, the shoes are a great weapon. This, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, it is aesthetically very pleasing, um, and but the gameplay is really what, yeah. what elevates it above, so... That's worth it for our number threes. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Cool. Uh, I hope our other ones don't sync up. Because then this will be really short. They definitely won't. All right. Uh, oh, actually, our number two might. Uh, <laughs> Flake, what is your game of the year pick Num- for number two? Number two? 2019. It's funny we mentioned two because mm. this is more of a three. <gasps> Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh. That's my nice number two. God. Game of the year. Nice, I know nice. you guys have your issues, sure, but yeah. we're not here to talk about bad things. No, I mean I, I talked about a few bad things. But, um, <laughs> oh, good. Let's no, always come with the good and the bad. Yeah, you know. of course. Of what course. makes it your number two? Um, all right. So, I, I like. Well, you just been so long. I forgot this game came out this year. Yeah, it's oh. true. Yeah. We had a big charity event for it. Uh huh. Um, which was the experience itself was. 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, really. Just, you know, raising money for charity, hanging out with friends, getting, like, sleep-deprived at the end. Blake passed out on my bed. (laughs) David and I, like, screaming about Yen Sid doing stuff or whatever. That shit was dope. Yeah. Um, So, Kingdom Hearts 3, you know, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, We were talking about it, uh, me and Colby, the other day, and, like, he reminded me about, like, how they treated Winnie the Pooh in that game, and I was like, did angry him. did him dirty <laughs> they did him dirty and i was like, like this, physically this angry. is shit <laughs> you hit me like you know they advertise like oh 100 acre woods one of the levels yeah and it's 10 minutes long 
Yeah. And it's it looks great. It's the same great. three game. It's the same three fucking it's mini games. Or that, whatever. Yeah. that shit sucked. Yeah. I hated that. Uh-huh. And Frozen sucked. Oh, but the uh, the rest yeah. of the game, I enjoyed. You know? Sure. And, like, Toy the advancement. Toy Story was of the best level yeah. in the game. Yeah, yeah. And the advancement of, like, the lore. Because, like, you know, before Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, you know... Years and years of lore speculation. Oh, oh yeah. you know, who's this? Who's this? Yada, yada, yada. Very much yeah. excited for that DLC. Yeah. Coming yeah, out. And the, the re- Remind right. DLC coming out in, what, 23rd yeah. of January? Yeah. Also, gorgeous looking game. Yeah. 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 One of the Looks best great. looking games that came out this year by yeah. mm-hmm. far. The soundtrack's really good. Soundtrack's yeah. great. Yeah. Got nominated. Yeah. Great soundtrack. Mm-hmm. Uh, Granted, I don't think, I, I remember, like, more tracks, obviously, from, like, Kingdom Hearts 2 and stuff. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I mean... It's a different. Yeah. We haven't had enough time to think yeah, about the I soundtrack. Agree. Yeah, it just came out. Yeah, you know, yeah, this no. year, as opposed to coming out in two thousand five. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure when <laughs> yeah. you know you're on like you're doing work and you're listening to music on the side, whether it be on like a, a YouTube playlist or something, mm-hmm. like you're gonna hear this random track and be like, "That sounds familiar," and look over and send me Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah, you know, like wow, this this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be let it go. Oh, they got no, <laughs> stop it, and they got uh Yutada Hikaru back. Yeah, absolutely, you know, yep. which was Good great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that's. And wasn't, Skrillex. Yeah, wasn't <laughs> feeling the Skrillex cover at first when it first came out. Mm-hmm, we were like, yeah. oh, whatever. And now it's like one of my favorite Kingdom Hearts yeah, songs. Yeah, it's good. Like, ever. Love it. It's good. Uh, um, but yeah, it's your number yeah. two. Um, I, I really wish I was able to stay for the charity stream. Yeah. We all do. Um, you were there for most of it. Yeah. It, there for like 20 yeah. Two hours. It's, it's, it's rough, though. It got like, rough towards the end. And then, like, the <laughs> class wasn't even, like, important. Like, like that specific class that <laughs> yeah. I went to school for. I'm like, oh, fuck, man. But I hope you learned your lesson that video yeah. games are far more important than education. Know. Absolutely. But I will be here for the entirety of Final Fantasy VII. Oh, nice. keep an eye out for that. So, so March excited. 3rd. Ha- have both of you played Final Fantasy I don't want to get too off topic. But no. Have both of you played Final Fantasy VII? Yes. Nope. I've, I've been recently replaying it, but my Switch version keeps crashing, so uh, I stopped playing it right. because, mm. I don't know, I guess That's the port's good. bad. All right. Anyway, yep. um, but yeah, Kingdom Hearts three. I enjoyed it. Has its problems, but everything else does. Bring Lock it in, boys. <laughs> number two, Kingdom Hearts three. Woo! Blake, yeah, that's me. David, <laughs> David, yeah. your number two pick for Game of the Year twenty nineteen. My number two pick, which better be different from your number two pick, is Resident Evil two. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Resident, Resident Evil, 2? Evil two remake. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just it's fantastic. Mm. It's such a good game. Um, between me and Nicole, we've played that through that game maybe like twenty times. Damn, <laughs> I, she is like synonymous with that game. She's you know, like it. I like, just she's... whenever I think of Resident Evil Two, I think of Nicole. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it's it's pretty crazy. She just got past uh, the first boss in like thirteen minutes, so it's pretty good. It's um, crazy. Yeah, good for her. But, uh, just the game, it looks great. The sound mm-hmm. design is amazing. Totally uh, it's, like, out of left field. Yeah, and <laughs> it's just like it's really true to the original Resident mm-hmm. Evil Two. But also, all the changes that they made are like good changes. Like I just, it, it's it's just it's real. It's amazing. It's mm-hmm. it's when you think of like, in terms of think of a band when they go out and play music live. Yeah, and mm-hmm. they have to play the same song over and over and over again. Yeah. this is like them retiring for a while, and then coming back, and then giving you like a remix of the song, but staying true to what that song meant. Yeah, and they enjoy playing it. You could tell the people who made this game really. They put their all into it, yeah. and it felt so one of a kind, yeah. but also familiar. And it, that's something really hard to do. Yeah, it really feels like this game was made as like how the people who love the game remembered the original. Because mm-hmm. like it, it's it's spooky. Like yeah. if you play this, like yeah. it's, it's pretty I scary. Yeah. And like Mister X is like a great villain, yeah. you know, uh-huh. just like following you everywhere. And but like it also pulls off like the action y Resident Evil. Yeah, while really also well. fixing what was wrong, like the. Sherry, Sherry Birkins mm-hmm. moving boxes in Resident Evil 2, the original. Yeah, like, yeah. nobody had fun doing that ever. Yeah. So but her her part in the remake is yeah. so terrifying and yeah. awesome. Just yeah. a really mm. good play. They, they just did a really good job with that. And, you know, I hope Capcom does the same thing with, like, Resident Evil 3. I hope it's just yeah. as good. Also, kudos to them for making zombies feel, like, scary and tough again. Yeah. Like, strong enemies. Yeah, because at, <laughs> at this point in video games, zombies are just, like, you shoot them. And look at like World War Z. Did that come out this year or last year? I don't know. I don't you know literally you just, you know, the wave of just zombies. Mow down like, zombies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they made them feel like the original horror movie zombies. Mm, like yeah. they're scary. Like you Romero know? style yeah. zombies. Yeah, yep. I, I only played the demo and like I was like, hmm, I, I want to play this eventually. But I have to the, my, the next 
Resident Evil game I have to play, which I own, but I haven't played it yet, is Revelations 2. Yeah. Uh, I own yeah. it. It's in the shrink wrap. I'll uh-huh. play it eventually. Yeah, it's in the shrink wrap. <laughs> Hopefully Resident Evil 3 remake isn't a, a carbon copy yeah, of, yeah. of 2. I hope not. Um, I mean, it's coming out rather quick. It is. Probably using yeah, the same I know. Engine. That's a it, little worrisome. It's definitely the same engine. Yeah. Seeing, I, so that's all a little bit of the gameplay. It's definitely the same engine. It looks a little bit better graphically, but... Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Quick, we'll see quick aside, yeah. do you think they're going to eventually remake Resident Evil 4, but in the style of, like... The older games, or like I, you've seen, like the old development videos of like yeah. Resident Evil Four, where you had like the flashlight yeah. neon sure. and shit. I, I kind of hope that they remake all the way up to six, mm. but like four is so iconic that a lot of people are going to be mad that it's yeah, different. I feel like stop at play th- the old game. <laughs> I think just stop at three. Give us a little time away from the third person perspective. Give us a RE eight with that yeah, first yeah. person mm. again. I would I would be down um, for that. But what a strange game. Yeah. Like you, I thought they were gonna stick with first person for a while to seven yeah. did so well. Yeah. You know, but like, hey, I'm happy about it. Yeah. Um, but guys, Code Veronica. Anyway. <laughs> Colby. <laughs> <Yeah>. Colby. <laughs> What's your number two game of the year? My number two game of the year for twenty nineteen. Number two. Is Devil May Cry Five. Ooh, what? nice, nice. Mm-hmm. Say, say it, say a line. Uh, let's dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's so good about it? Oh man. So okay. Um, it is a game that is a. It's a spectacle more mm-hmm. than a game. Yeah. Honestly, and even in the gameplay and the cutscenes, everything about it is a spectacle. That's what Devil May Cry has always been, mm-hmm. except when it strayed from that. And you know, you can talk about DMC or even. Um, Devil four. May Cry 4 to yeah. an extent. I yeah. like 4, but some people thought it was a little, went a little too far. Um, but Devil May Cry 5, I mean, you played it, David. Yeah. It was, it was mm-hmm. it's too short. It was, yeah, it was definitely too Way short. Way too short. Yeah. Uh, cause, but you remember that experience of playing it because you have these bombastic, huge battles, mm-hmm. these this in-depth combo system where there's three playable characters and all of them are so unique with how they play. It's really hard to choose which one you want to play as. Yeah, they all play very differently. Yeah. Uh, but all of it, but it's it's really fun. I mean, and they're so drastically different that there's a play style for everyone out there in a sense. You know, you have V who summons uh, his shadow demon minion. Yeah, like things. a wolf and a crow and like a panther. raven. Or it was panther, a panther, panther and a crow and then like mm-hmm. a giant blob, giant yeah, monster yeah. thing. You have Dante with all his weapons. I played as Dante the most. Yeah. Yeah. And then and Nero. Johnny Young Bosch. Huh? Yeah, and then Johnny yeah. Young Bosch. Yeah. The, the new characters are really funny. The cutscenes, you know, the writing is cheesy in the best way. Yeah. But also, you know, it's slight spoilers, Virgil is awesome. He is really game. cool. I'm not going to say what he does or anything. Uh, but. I, I think one of the best ways to describe Devil May Cry 5 is like how you said a lot of people were a little upset about 4 I like went a little too far Yeah, 5 like went all the way too far and like really knew that it was doing it that it was full circle and the, yeah. yeah and they were just like we're just gonna go as crazy as possible and like like the first cutscene in the game is like Nero in his <laughs> van and it's like slow-mo flipping like ramping yeah, off something flipping ramps, upside so down can, yeah. and he's like slow-mo just like shooting a bunch of demons oh like and it's just it's amazing all, all while Devil Trigger plays which yeah. is like probably the most popular game song that came out this year oddly oh, yeah. enough you know? and to to summon a what's her name's van every time you summon her van oh, yeah because so like, her van's like the shop pretty much mm. and every time you summon it in a level you just like call her on a payphone and she just her van just crashes through like, a wall no like, matter where you, you are or like just like ramps like off a building like slams <laughs> oh, down yeah. in front of you it's just, it's so funny it's and awesome. great yeah I, I i enjoy that uh just that um mood of a game it just it's just fun and yeah. that's honestly the bottom line. Most games are fun, uh-huh. <laughs> and if and if they do it really well, you know, it's just good game. So I haven't played it, but uh-huh. my takeaway from Devil May Cry Five was like how realistic the faces are. Oh, it's a use gorgeous that looking game. It does look really good. Dude, yeah. Looking at Dante's double is like mm. it's uncanny how far games have gone. Yeah, uh, uh-huh. without a doubt. Uh, so that's my number two pick. Number two. So honorable, honorable mentions. mentions. Yeah, for this year. Uh, Blake, well, what do we have? For we won't get too in depth with these because yeah, we probably have to do them because it'll it'll take a, a while. Mm-hmm. So, I've only played two other new games this year, so I guess I'll talk I about them. I haven't finished them yet. I hear you. Uh-huh. So, one of the games I played this year, which uh, makes it an honorable mention, uh-huh. Travis Strikes Again: No More Heroes. Yes, that did oh, come okay. out this year. The yeah. uh, the little, uh, it came out January, didn't it? I think I don't remember. Anyway, sorry. Go. I might have. Um, 
Well, it came out this year, mm-hmm. and it was like, wow, cool, fun. And then something else came out, and I was like, I'm distracted. Wow. So I've learned. <laughs> so I've been on a, a lot of trips this year. I went, uh-huh. I went to Vegas. I went to Costa Rica. I went to New wow. York. Look at this guy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to play this on the plane. I got this, but I've noticed every time I try to play something on a plane, I get a headache, uh, and then yeah. I go to bed. Motion sickness. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. I've tried so much this year to play <laughs> that's, something that's on like eight-hour flights. Yeah. yeah, whenever I fly, I can't do it. my yeah. Switch is like my best friend, so yeah. I'm sorry, dude. I can't do it, man. That sucks. So I will finish No More Heroes, uh, Travis Trucks again, eventually. I believe in you. Before the third game, because I really want to play the third game. I believe in All you. Because right. that new trailer came out. It's awesome. Um, yeah. All also, right. another honorable mention, uh, which I need to finish, Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. It's like uh, I don't know what so, that is. so Super Dragon Ball Heroes or Dragon Ball Heroes is like an arcade game in uh-huh. Japan, and like they have a bunch of games there, and they're like, Fine, okay, we're gonna bring it to the states or yep. you know North America, and we're like, whoa, Dragon Ball Heroes. It's like a card base, you know, everything's card base. You know. It's, you know, it's Japan. Yeah. yeah. Um, and not in the arcades, I assume. They didn't bring it here in the arcades. No, no. No. Although there was like a English like demo station at like some Comic Con. Yeah. Um, oh, God. Yeah. They're, they're preparing. Yeah. Um, they Dragon Ball Heroes is like just nuts in general. There's like it Super is. Saiyan 4, like Gogeta Broly fusion <laughs> shit. It's stupid. Yeah, it's it's like stupid. The, the fanfic. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. like fanfic shit. I got you. <clears throat> but, uh,. It's fun. Um, I hope to play it soon. Yeah, I think you will. Eventually. I think uh-huh. you will, too. Wow, thanks for the confidence, guys. Yeah. I don't have that confidence in me. Yeah, but we got you. <laughs> wow, thanks, We're guys. your co-host. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> That's our job. Anything else? Nope. Way? All right, David. David. All right. Honorable mentions? Uh, uh, for the sake of brevity, I have two sure. that yeah, we yeah. already mentioned. Uh, Devil May Cry 5 and Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, both yeah. On honorable Very mentions. good. Mm-hmm. Good honorable mention. Um, besides that, I have Layers of Fear 2. Ooh. Oh, okay. That uh, came out this year. Yeah, yeah uh, I enjoy horror games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm a fan. Um, and Layers of Fear Two, I think, really just kind of nailed the formula. Mm. Ah. Uh, the first one was good. It like, you know, it tried to tell a story during a horror game, which is hard to do. Yeah. Check out our and, uh, our Let's Play that. Yeah, yeah. Tick. Did I do it? I forgot to do it a couple oh, times. Oh, got it. Yeah. Uh, but Layers of Fear Two really just it it nailed that whole storytelling formula. It's like it's like a seven hour long horror game, mm. which is you know long for that yeah. type of genre. But um, but it keeps you on your toes. Uh-huh. It keeps you in in the the scary mood, but uh-huh. also tries to tell a compelling story, which I'm a fan of. And there's a lot of collectibles, which I also like. Yeah, so, yeah, completionist side and your spoopy side. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm a big fan. Uh, and my last one uh-huh. is Untitled Goose Game. Oh, yeah, I didn't play that. Didn't yeah. play it this year. Uh, like how you said, it's very different. But like mm-hmm. how you said, Devil May Cry is just fun. Yeah, Untitled Goose Game is just fun. <laughs> it's you know, obviously it's very different. I'll be Untitled like, Goose Game. Do you just, think it, the Muppet version will become uh, a, a real game? I hope so. Yeah, I think it will. Yeah, like some DLC expansion I really hope or something. So. It, it, it was it's you know it's just a cute silly just mm. like came out of nowhere yeah and it came out of nowhere exploded oh yeah, yeah. you know the it's, memes it, ah. it's it's short. It's not a pricey, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like ten bucks or whatever, yeah. and it's just, it's a it's a fun time. Lasts mm-hmm. a couple hours. I just, get that. Yeah. It it looks fun. Yeah. Not something mm. I would play, but I would play with people. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. What are you, Kobe? Uh, my honorable mentions. Yeah, Kobe. Uh, real quick, uh, Apex Tell me them, Legends. Kobe. Apex oh. Legends. Because we play. David and I in particular played that. We played it a, a bit. lot. Yeah. I, I mean, well, I, it was weird because I remember. One of the last times playing it, logging in and being like, wait, I have over 40 hours into this? Like, it didn't yeah. feel like Damn, that at yeah. all. And I'm not a big, like, Battle Royale kind of game or anything, but it just hit the right notes at the time. Yeah. I don't play anymore, though. But mm. Apex Legends, Rip. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 mm-hmm. the, is, is on an honorable It's not mention. your number one, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Wargroove was a game I very much enjoyed. It's for mm. the Switch and PC. It's uh, basically this other studio. Uh, I should have got their name. It sucks. Um it's a spiritual successor to Advance Wars, mm-hmm. the old tactics, like war RPG mm-hmm. um, uh, back in the day, which I loved as a kid playing that in my DS. And uh, yeah, I just, it scratched that itch of like a tactical RPG. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for my, yeah, I'm going to leave it. Wow. There. There's wow. another one in there, but I'm not going to mention it because mm-hmm. I already know it's David's number one. So, <laughs> Blake. You don't know me. Well, let me... Uh... Control this conversation. All right, yep. Uh, Blake, what is your 
game of the year for 2019. Well, <gasps> I beat this game this yep. morning. <laughs> I was like, I need to beat it so I can talk about it. Okay, yep. And by this morning, I mean like 2 in the morning. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. Game of the year 2019 <gasps> is Link's Awakening for Switch. Hey, I thought nice. you said Oink's Awakening. Oink's Awakening. <laughs> Oink's Awakening. The Link's sequel Awakening. to Untitled Goose Game. Um, So Link's Awakening, you know, when – what were we doing like a live reaction to when like – they like announced the, the trailer. The, and you, like, the trailer yelled. announcement. Yeah. So, probably, probably, yeah. It's probably not a Nintendo E3. Yeah. Coverage. Was it E3 they announced that? Probably. I don't know, I remember. But I remember I was I, I saw like the water yep. and then I was like I saw the boat and I knew exactly what it was. <laughs> I was like, Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> and then I saw the art style, I was like, This is interesting. I don't yeah. know how I feel about this. Mm. So um, your your hype train, you know, it was a hype roller coaster. Yeah. It like, went up and then came uh-huh, down. Yeah. You're like, ah. Peaks and valleys. Um but but it was I, worth it. Yeah, you know, I I like the art style. You yeah, know, it grew on you. Yeah. Uh, so, you, have you guys played Link's Awakening? Unfortunately, I have not. The original. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Link's. I'm not talking about the Switch version at the moment, sir. <laughs> um, 1993 or the DX version. Uh huh. Um, both fantastic games. Um, and uh, I, I've played Link's Awakening and subsequently the Oracle games, which use the same engine. Mm. Um multiple many many times and like those games have a certain feel right and Link's Awakening the the new one you're you're uh, it took me a long time to like notice or like you're you're like locked on a grid it's like a eight direction grid and like it makes the game feel weird and it's like, strange to be locked in a grid like that when mm-hmm. you have three dimensional graphics yeah because yeah. that's the whole point of the three dimensional you know, dual shock analog kind of control is being able to move in mm-hmm. a whole wide range of directions. Yeah. So being on that grid is a and uh, before David showed up today, I was I brought my 3ds and I was playing Link's Awakening just the uh, original, the original just to like compare and contrast, and it's definitely different. It's like you, you feel like it's like smoother on the the original, while it's you're more like locked in place, kind of. It's a bit jarring. It's, it, well, it's more noticeable. It's, it's very jarring, mm. and I'm not sure if I like that, but I can see them remaking the Oracle games in a similar art style, and I just hope they address some of this stuff. Yeah. But overall, um, Link's Awak- the the remake's very good. You know, it's Link's Awakening if you like that. Um, they took some stuff out, like the, you don't have the the photo gallery. Yep. It's now replaced. Dompe is here for some reason, and mm. I didn't really do the dungeon stuff. That the dungeon maker yeah. pseudo thing. People but, didn't really care for that mm-hmm. anyway, but um but like I got like the upgraded sword and I got a bunch of heart pieces and I beat Nightmare and fun times. I enjoy it. I highly recommend. Um if you like Zelda, play the game. I like it. They're, they're your number one pick, Link's Awakening. My number yeah. one pick for twenty nineteen, Link's Awakening. Lock- David. I'm gonna lock this in, Colby. Uh-huh. Yeah, you want to help me? Yeah, I'm. I'm locking it in. Come on, in. David. Ah! Yeah. I like how we only locked in Blake. Blake, yeah. <laughs> okay, lock in the previous ones. Quick, lock in quick. <laughs> All right, we did it, so David. No, nobody isolate that. No, clip ever. <laughs> David. Yes. Your number one pick yeah. for 2019. Yeah. Tell us. I wonder. Yeah, you already know what it is. It's yeah. Control. Of what? course. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> As yeah. it should be. Yeah, Control is. An amazing game. Mm-hmm. Uh, my favorite types of games always are games that can sit me down and tell me a story. Mm-hmm. A really good story. Yep. And this this game does an amazing job at it. Um, it really... I, I love, like, kind of modern-day supernatural stuff like this. It's it's very much like, um, you know, there's, there's this weird secret organization. Like, they, like, hold magical items that, like, mm-hmm. do these certain things. Yeah. Like, alter the dimensions. And like, it's just... It's, it's a game that... <laughs> as it gives you answers it gives you more questions yeah and, yep. it, and it's not frustrating it's the perfect amount it's the carrot on the stick in yeah. front of you that keeps you going yeah every step of the way the, the characters are great the voice acting is great it looks amazing the atmosphere is like it's it's mm-hmm. creepy without really I, I i don't feel like it's a horror game it's, it's ambiguous but it's, it's very right? like atmospheric and yeah it's like you don't know what's gonna weird. happen yeah right. and like you said as you play you just get more and more questions and like I'm, I beat the game and I just want more. Mm. Like I want to know more. I want some of my questions answered, and I'm really excited for the DLC. 
and I, I hope I hope that they yeah. live up to that. When does it come game. out? The DLC uh, next year, oh, well, twenty twenty. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. What at least in particular, like personally, I what I value most in games, like one of the things I value most is can it take its own mechanics and twist it around as I play to yeah. give me something new every time. Like yeah. games like Undertale do that, mm-hmm. like Delta Rune, you know, stuff. Um, and Control does that as well, where it it teaches you the 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 rules at the beginning which are there really are no rules in this game yeah. because mm-hmm. everything is going to get weird and messed up and topsy-turvy as, yep. as as you progress and like and the powers that the main character gets because not only do you have a cool gun that like changes forms and like makes it into different guns pretty much but you get like mind powers like yes. like force powers is the first thing you get you can throw objects with your mind mm-hmm. and the way they introduce it is there's a magical item that can, that has this power that's like flinging things around yeah. and you need to absorb the power from this object and what it's like a TV or something right it's like a weird inanimate yeah, object yeah, yeah. that's just like and you go in the room and it's just chucking things everywhere and you have to try like not like get hit by things or oh yeah a record a it's a, something, something like that yeah and it's just and then once you have that you can pick up almost literally anything in, in the game yeah. and just throw it mm. and it's it feels so good and then combined with the other powers, you get like being able to fly, mm-hmm. or you know, like your quick dodge and like all this stuff. It's just very satisfying. Fun fact: that was actually my game of the year, or not game of the year, my second. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't want to like talk about it before you got to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, so I put Double May Cry there. But uh, and it it shares the universe with Alan Wake. If it, yeah, if a game I never played, played, so it didn't really mean anything to me when yeah. I played. But and it's it's cool the way they they tie it, tie it in because you just find documents saying like we know about what happened to alan wake he's we're mm. studying him like yeah. Yeah, all this stuff and it's it's cool you know it is a great game i can't wait to see more from it yeah definitely mm-hmm. lit lock it in boys <laughs> <laughs> uh! cool. colby mm-hmm. gentlemen i have a feeling yeah. i have a feeling yeah. it is no it's there's one there's one game you played missing yeah yeah no you're right say, unless, unless you really right. hate it my game just of the year uh-huh for 2019 yep is Fire Emblem Three Houses. What? I'm shocked. <laughs> I actually didn't expect that. Uh, I've been playing this game since it came out, and just like every weekend consistently, and mm. you know, I've well over 120 hours <laughs> into it. Uh-huh. Lit. Oh, which that, for me, which for me for is you, a yeah. lot. For yeah. me, it's like a huge amount to yeah. have into a game. Um, and oh, it's just all right. Real talk. I hate every ending. Every end <laughs> in this game. I hate every ending. It's just bad. Did you bad. do the fourth? Yeah. No, not yet. Okay, maybe that's the best ending. I doubt it. <laughs> Why do you hate every ending? Well, because it's spoiler, all just but... somebody like one of the houses gets fucked over, or like oh, I'm sorry, like all but one house gets fucked over, kind of thing. Where I want my like true everybody's happy ending. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not maybe gonna that's get. the fourth one. The best ending is like the bad guys ending, because they're right. the best house. Anyway, yeah. but um, uh, so this has the fire emblem mechanics down Mm -hmm. just completely the tactical uh aspect of it is without a doubt refined to perfection at this point Mm -hmm. you can take any character and change a class to whatever you like so you're not limited to like oh man i really want to play this character but they're a pegasus knight and my army just does not need a pegasus knight yeah i'll just change them some are more suited to other roles so you can kind of you know edge them on a certain way but you need to like invest them if you want to mm-hmm. change them to something else but works really well you know there's a lot of options there you can get other cl- uh students from other houses into yours so if you do a run through of the, the blue lions but you really want the um golden deer like i really like that character i want them on my team i like their stats i like their story you can do that you can just like make them like you and they just join your house mm-hmm. uh all the characters are fun. Like, I really felt like, oh, man, I want, like, how do I reach these teens? You know, like, they, they were, like, my students, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's why the endings freaking suck. Because no matter what, some of these kids are going to die. And you can't really stop it. And it's mm. really frustrating that I can't stop that. But, I mean, you could say, like, oh, that's the theme. It's all about war and stuff like that. Yeah. But, like, Fire Emblem doesn't tell good stories. It's all about the dragon at the end. No dragon at the and end. And the of this waifus. One. Lame. Yeah, actually, no, there was a dragon at the end. Never. Oh. And waifus. Lots, lots of good prime waifus <laughs> category here. Mm-hmm. And I think it's the one of the few Fire Emblem games with same sex oh, relationships cool. with some characters, which do more. Yeah. But yeah. you know, progressive. You know, for its genre. Cool. I love Fire Emblem Three Houses. Great game. Pick it up. You will get 
so many. Oh, you can pet the cats in it now. What? what? There's cats all over the the dorms. Then you what? can never touch them, and they they were just everywhere. But they added a patch. You can interact with the cats. Or Best it's DLC patch. or something. Oh. Best DLC. Yeah. Shit, that's awesome. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. They're still adding more stuff to it now, like more side more quests pets scenario. To pet. More, more pets they better, to pet. Listen, to there's pet. like one dog. I better be able to pet that freaking dog. <laughs> Fire Emblem Three Houses is my game of the year, 2019. Awesome. But, Boys. Yes, Blake. It's been a long decade. It has been. <sighs> Lots of games. Mm-hmm. You, ain't, you ain't kidding. You Lots ain't of wrong. games. Yeah. Lots of years. Yeah. You're telling me. So, I think it's time, gentlemen, for our game of the decade. This is Whoa. the culmination of 10 years. Yeah. Or nine years. Yeah, whatever. Nine. 2010, from, from yeah. 2019. Of 2019. Uh-huh. Many games have come out. Yeah. We've gone through a lot of industry changes. Mm-hmm. Uh, new consoles. New con- we've, we've gained a lot of influential people, and we've lost some. We've uh, grown as human game. beings. Yeah. Physically and mentally, yep. I have a beard now. We were we were in high school when this. I Blake and I were in high school. I had like just started. graduated high school. Yeah. <laughs> and now you know we're on different paths, and we, our tastes might have changed uh-huh. in yeah. games. They might have grown, might have yeah. shrunk, whatever. Uh, sure as hell can't afford as many. Nope. Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> but we're here to celebrate video games. We love video games. That's yeah. what this whole. Key tap and X is made for. Mm-hmm. It's and for Dokkan. And, yeah. <laughs> and addiction. <laughs> I'm really curious as to what um, you guys get. So I have, I made a, I compiled a list of games, like games that have come out that were pretty big and mm-hmm. that I played for every single year. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm not going to go into all of them extensively because mm-hmm. we're going to be here for like three yeah, yeah. hours on here. I don't know if you guys want to like, I don't know how you want to format this if you want to like, just share game of the years and then I'll just go through we'll, we'll some do, mentions. We'll do, we'll do honorable mentions first. Yeah, good. Okay. I don't have any. <laughs> All right, Colby. So, okay. You're welcome. I'm, I'm going to go down real, 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 real quick. Way too many. Real yeah. quick. These are the names. Again, these games aren't like the most popular for everybody. Uh-huh. These are games that I liked and yeah. most of all I played. What? Mm-hmm. Um, or just saw, watched a lot yeah. um, throughout. Maybe you guys played them or, you know, have something to say. About Get them on with it. <laughs> <laughs> He hates me, guys. 2010. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I only have three games. Yep. Uh, God of War three came out. Nice. Wow, which is just weird to think about. Yeah. Uh, Mass Effect two. <sighs> that definitely would have been out of my elevator list. simulator. Oh, yeah. oh, that's the first one. Yeah, that's the first one. Okay. Yeah. Mass Effect two is before the everybody hated Mass uh-huh. Effect. Yeah. Uh, Bayonetta, the first Bayonetta, oh, wow. came yeah. out. Yeah. That's, Damn. Great. that's all I have. 2011. Mm. Um, again, I probably missed like four dozen games. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Uh, 2011, um, the Batman Arkham series first started. Yeah. Which, the only reason I put down is because that's like the first comic book movie, uh, like, you know, yeah. games that mm. have been doing well. You know, yeah. started that. And it kind of created a genre of combat. Yeah. Right? No, you're right. Mm. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Oh, that would Fate definitely would have been on my list. Mm. Ah, that's huge. I wow. play that game so much. That, that's what got me into like more fighting game yeah. kind of stuff mm-hmm. for a bit. Uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic, <laughs> the biggest, one of the biggest MMO bombs, but it's doing pretty well now. Bless you. Oh, yeah. uh, the old, oh that was the MMO. Yeah, yeah the MMO came out. Wow. I, I play. I still play. I yeah. played a couple mm-hmm. like a month ago, um, and that's it. 2011, <laughs> 2012, mm-hmm. Diablo three okay, came out to yeah. a really botched opening yeah. because the servers were garbage. Yeah. Um, nobody could play it like the first day. Yeah. Uh, Dishonored, which I, I that nice. was a personal one. Mm. I just like Dishonored. Fire Emblem Awakening, which saved the Fire Emblem yeah, franchise. Yeah. It was yeah. it was on death's door. It really was. Yeah. If it didn't, if this game didn't do well, we wouldn't. I wouldn't have wouldn't my game have of the year. Waifus. Yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. It, mm-hmm. Thank you, Tharja. <laughs> thank you, Tharja. Thank you, Tharja. Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance what? came out in 2012. Wow. Wow. Good memories. Yeah. Yeah, Blake and I. That's awesome. Powered through that game. Yep. We, we I, just, I slept yeah. over his house and uh-huh. we beat that in like. One city. That's, uh, that's probably we still made it two. to Fantasia. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. That's probably still one of my favorites. One of my favorite Kingdom Hearts. Games. Oh, without a doubt. It's <laughs> mm-hmm. that was a good one. It's just like a really well made game. Yeah. It's <laughs> interesting to play with two people because like you just pick a character. Yep. Yeah. Once you drop, trade it, hand it over. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mass Effect Three came out, uh, which I personally liked, and I still think is a really good game, even if people didn't like the ending. Mm-hmm. Like whatever. Uh, Resident Evil Six came out. Wow. 2012. Tic Tacs. Yep, Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs. Uh, SCP Containment <laughs> Breach. Shut up. Or 
Wait. Uh, <laughs> that was five. Uh, yeah. What was her name? <laughs> what was Leon's girl's name? Uh, I don't know. So girl! Sad. Girl! Yeah. Partner! Thumbs up. Yeah, SCP Containment Breach came out, which is just our spoopy month tradition yeah, now yeah. for Blake to play those. <laughs> uh, XCOM no Enemy Unknown, which is one of my favorite X-com. Tactics games yeah. ever. Came out. Uh, Persona 4 Golden. Oh, nice. PSP, PSP baby. Yeah. Love that game. Uh, Thank you, Marcus. That's it for 2012. Uh, 2013, Bioshock Infinite. Wow. Nice. Huge game. Yeah. Uh, I remember Adam Sessler's uh, Rev3 Games review of that. He liked it. Yeah, he was like, I'm balding. Uh, <laughs> DuckTales Remastered. <laughs> Woohoo. Nice. Check out our Let's nice. Play. This is one yeah. of the first Let's Plays. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Last of Us came out. Wow. Pretty influential yeah. game. Uh, Road Legacy, which was a my first Road Light game, which I really yeah. liked. Uh, I just... Thought it was, you know, I liked it. Uh, Starcraft 2, Heart of the Swarm. Oh, wow. Came out in 20, 2013. Uh, and then the XCOM Enemy Within expansion because I liked it. Uh, 2014, the Banner Saga started. Mm-hmm. It was a pretty cool, like, Icelandic tactical RPG game yeah. with a cool art style. Uh, Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls. Uh, Divinity, Original Sin. Yes. What? Definitely. <sighs> Game's amazing. Yeah, that's definitely. That was a, it's really hard to, like, not put that on a list of yeah. some kind. Uh, um, I put The Last of Us Left Behind, which is their DLC, for a very particular reason, at least really personally, because mm-hmm. um, it was the first game, the first video game I ever saw same sex representation in, because Ellie and oh, yeah, the Ellie. female, uh, the other female lead, like kiss, and like mm-hmm. it was about that. And like mm-hmm. when I was younger, like I never saw that in video games before, yeah. so I was like, whoa, and kind of took me off guard, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, ironically. I think uh, Life is Strange came out in 2015. <laughs> uh, Smite came out in 2014. Oh, wow. So if you like MOBAs, like good year there for MOBAs. South Park, The Stick of Truth, mm. which is a pretty big game when it came yeah. out. Yeah. Again, proving that television shows, movies, games can be adapted and work pretty well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Brothers for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U wow. in 2014. Yep. That was, that was fun. I remember getting that on the 3DS. That was not a mistake. That's the other game. <laughs> Uh, this war of mine, oh, yeah. which proved that, contrary to what I said about Devil May Cry earlier, games don't have to be fun. They can be sad, mm-hmm. like really sad, and such a bummer to play through, um, and still be really good. That's, mm-hmm. that's that game. Wolfenstein: The New Order, a good uh, bring the old to the new. Blah blah blah. Uh, Shovel Knight. Yeah, I think you know an indie. The game. king of indie. The, yeah, the yeah, king yeah. of indie, like yeah. the absolute legend of yep. indie. Uh, Transistor, the personal fit by. Uh, um, oh my God, Super Giant! Yeah, uh, that's just an amazing game. Go check out the soundtrack; it's so good. Uh, and that's 2014. All right, we're getting through. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting through it. 2015. Mm, uh, big game came out that year. Mm. Uh, Bravely Second and Layer. That's I only reason I put that is because Bravely Default Two. Not Bravely confusing in the default. names at all, guys. Yeah. Um, out. actually, all right, I'm gonna school you because Bravely <laughs> Second has the same cast. More or less of Bravely Default. No, you're right. Bravely Default Two has a new cast. New. <laughs> can you believe this? New I shit. Can you believe this? I can't believe Stupid it. Stupid ass. Believe this. Can't believe it. It's called End Layer. Should be the end <laughs> of the layer <laughs> of that layer. Yeah. Uh, Chroma Squad. <laughs> Onions. Which was a tactical. I have a lot of tactics games. I just realized, but yep. uh, it's like Power Rangers, but like you're an indie like movie studio. Uh huh. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I looked at you when I said that. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle came out in 2015. <laughs> That's why I, I didn't think you put that. Of course I put it in. It's literally taken my friend. <laughs> Save me. Save me. The game that just keeps giving. Yeah. It does sure something. Keeps taking. Yeah. Well, I like it. Yeah. Poor, poor thing. Uh, Evolve. One of the oh, bo- yeah. most botched games of its time. Yeah, came wow. Out. I love Sad. Left 4 Dead. Sad. Or not? It's a, mm, isn't it like it was the one four versus the monster? Yeah, Left yeah, 4 Dead. I, I, yeah, I guess. Okay. Fire Emblem Fates wasn't that good. Uh, <laughs> Final <laughs> Fantasy fourteen Heaven Sword. Oh, nice. So that's mm-hmm. the revival of a dead RPG, like a phoenix. You know? yeah. yeah, like a phoenix. Heroes of the Storm, a MOBA that is now dead. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Big rip. Yeah, uh, is it actually like shut down. No, no, it's still, no, it's still up. Like, it's still it. updated, but the esports is dead, which means like that game is gonna be. Yeah, it's the, just going downhill. Unfortunately, yeah, no, yeah. such a shame. Really mm. good game. It was and my a, favorite, a fun game. My favorite mobile, probably besides Smite, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh. Uh, 
StarCraft II Legacy of the Void, which is the peak of esports for Blizzard, I yeah. imagine. I mean, you can count Overwatch, uh, yeah. well, but I think when Legacy of the Void, uh, Void and Heart of the Swarm and all, all that, that's huge. Yeah. Uh, Undertale. Yeah. Huge. Mm, you know, if you want to talk about, like, indie king of indies over here yeah. you know shovel knight is like you know they Listen, have what's their toby studio fox yeah. is a big deal he is yeah. and yeah, he's yeah, only he getting bigger yeah you know, good for him he, he may he just put a track in the new pokemon game that yeah. i mean oh, wow. you pretty awesome. much made it like yeah. you know uh xenoblade chronicles x wow one of the biggest disappointments <laughs> um i'll beat it one day <laughs> uh life is strange and that's it 2015 2016 See, I, uh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I think xenoblade chronicles x had the unfortunateness of like we were we were gu- we got more busy. Wait, yeah. Which one was Xenoblade Chronicles X? The one with the Max. I never played it. It's it's <laughs> it's an MMO, oh. but single player, oh. and it takes the worst aspects of an MMO: the fetch quests, you know, the really uh, bad side quests, the micromanaging of a Korean MMO, mm-hmm. um, and tries to put it in a single player experience, mm-hmm. and it just got way too muddled for me. The character models look a little weird too. Yeah. Go on. You're right. 2016, uh, Final Fantasy 15 oh, nice. came out after waiting 11 years or whatever it was. Yeah. Something ridiculous. Uh, Overcooked, amazing awesome. party game. Delicious. Yeah. Uh, Overwatch, that was like my game o- of the also year. Also delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have an Overwatch cookbook that I got for Christmas. Really? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, Pokemon Go. I'd have to mention Pokemon Go. Yeah. Cultural phenomenon. That was World the, peace yeah. for three yeah. weeks. People that was still like, talk about like the summer of Pokemon Go yeah. is the most unified. That was the <laughs> biggest cultural phenomenon in gaming I've ever seen, yeah. to be honest. Absolutely. Like people of all ages like talking about this. It was I, super weird. It was insane. Like yeah. I'll always remember me and Nicole were playing it the summer it came out. And we walked by a house that was like an old couple sitting on their steps. And we walked by their house. They were like, you guys playing Pokemon? I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, how, how do you even know take what that some, is? Take some lemon like, squares. Like, yeah, was... Everyone was outside yeah. playing the game. Not uh-huh. me. I didn't like, want to Crowds play. of people. Just like, yeah. And for crazy. a game that was completely broken. Yeah. A game that just did not work yeah. at all. Like, and then like they changed like one thing and it just died. Yep. <laughs> But it's still racking it's in still like huge, millions yeah. and millions, yeah. but it's just not mainstream anymore. Yeah. That's why we don't hear about it. Yeah, yeah but you know, good on them. Yeah, yeah. You know, Niantic. Niantic. Uh, remember when they had that the festival thing or the Pokemon <laughs> Go, and it was like <laughs> like the worst. Yeah. Like the game didn't like, work. Yeah, People were after. like yeah. dying. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> People are dead. Yeah. Uh, uh Udo Duel Links. Came out in 2016. Oh, yeah. Nice. I, I, still, yeah. I still auto-duel sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, super Hot came yep. out. Hot. Uh, that's 2016. Uh, one more game came out in 2016, but it's my game as a decade, so I'm not going to talk about it yet. Uh, fair. Uh, 2017 uh, had Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadow of Valencia, which is a different Fire Emblem game. It's a it's remake like of the remake, second yeah, one. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, which was pretty said. fun, but yeah. ultimately forgettable because I forgot it existed before <laughs> looking up this it, list. It, no, the guy has green hair. You're yeah, right. the guy has green hair. So there's a guy in <laughs> three houses. Oh. And one of the Time Force Rangers. Oh. Very good. <laughs> uh, South Park, the Fractured Butthole. Yep. Not as good as the first one, in my opinion, but still mm-hmm. fun. I'll play those eventually. They're fun. They're good. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, I mentioned the EA's version. Right. Uh, because I mentioned that because, you know, the most downvoted Reddit yeah. post or comment ever. Good shit. Yep. Ooh, good EA. Shit. Ooh. Yep. Why are transactions? It's, it's a whole industry about them. Uh, Stories Untold, which is a horror game David and I played. Yeah. Uh, that I st- it's still stuck with me to this day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just really... Uh, how do I... This is compelling. It's unique. Yeah, it's unique. Yeah. Uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, mm-hmm. That's what gave us Twitch affiliate. Yeah, it's true. Because yeah. we streamed, we did a 12 hour stream that yeah. did very well. Yeah. Our best stream to date. Yeah. You know, you know good stuff. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite Scary. Let's Plays on the channel. And yeah. That was a lot of fun. Another game that blew up. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, that was, you know, good game. I don't even want to talk about it a lot because Crystal Play it. Yeah. It's free. For Honor came out in 2017. That was fun for a while. <laughs> I was like Three 40. Days. I was 40 minutes over being able to return it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big rip. Yeah, big rip. Uh, I kind of want to go back and play it. Apparently, it's better now. That's what I hear. 2018. <laughs> We're almost here. We're almost there. 
Thank you for, for sticking up for this long. Yeah. Dragon Ball Fighters. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Great fighting game that, you know, I was like, oh man, I can't wait to play this like all year. And anyway. Same. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, should I should have known I don't like fighting games. Yeah. 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 yeah no. I like Budokai. <laughs> I played online for a while and then just stopped playing. I, you know what? A lot of it was because I have to pay for online. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah. Hey, I hate hey, paying for hey. goods and services. Uh, Delta Rune, Toby Fox's next chapter. <laughs> don't stream it. Chapter. Well, <laughs> uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, which is mm-hmm. like that eight bit Return to Form Castlevania yeah. style. Uh, Octopath Traveler. Oh yeah! Wow. I really enjoyed that game. Uh, Overcooked two, uh, Marvel's Spider Man, the game yeah. of the year. It was amazing. Oh, <laughs> God of War, the yeah, remake. Amazing game. Yeah. Boy, 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 <laughs> and a uh, Monster Hunter World. Huge. Well, a lot of good games came out last year. Huh? Yeah. yeah, and and then um, you have this year, which we kind of already named the best ones. Yeah, honestly, yeah. there's really yeah. not more to say about that. Sure did. Mm-hmm. I mean that's like a look through gaming, like at least my gaming for, for thank you for years. your long winded. <laughs> oh yeah. I yeah. had to. I need to, to listen. We can't talk about the decade and uh, not talk about any games that came out. No, you're right. You're right. You know, you're right. I had to. Plus, I had a lot of fun looking this up. Yeah. Like, Whoa! Wow. And maybe you guys remember some of these games too. Well, you forgot two. Oh. Count them two. Uh, honorable mentions. Okay. I mean, I know it was your list. So, I got two. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. First game. Yep. 2012, April, GameStop exclusive. Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, oh yeah. my God. How did yeah. I, how did I miss that? You mentioned X. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how, did I, how did I miss that? I loved Xenoblade Chronicles. Yeah. So, the game. best thing to happen in that game was that North America... Uh, Nintendo of America was like no no so like it got localized in the UK yeah. and it got an amazing Reception, amazing yeah. voice cast yes absolutely great uh-huh. voice cast yeah. iconic oh, yep <laughs> man wonderful you, and they haven't been able to top it since no nope. I, I mean I haven't played it I've, I mean, I've, I have I've seen, seen the trailers the no <laughs> <laughs> and they brought the dude back the same voice actor for Shulk back for Smash yep. right? yeah. I'm really feeling it <laughs> um, yeah, yeah pop, man Team of the Chronicles Smash. you know me and Kobe played it together and like I thought it was like you know it was interesting I wasn't really understanding a lot of the mechanics so I let mm-hmm. Kobe play it more than I did yeah and it was fun because it was very MMO and, and then it like was, yeah. And then, like, I was just, like, I just wanted to play it. And I did the side quest, and, like, it, it just clicked. Yeah. yeah. And I was, like, I just started playing it and playing it and playing it. in love with the characters. Yeah. So, they like, had really good story great. moments in that game. Yeah. Like, uh, freaking Metal Face. Was, Dude, yeah, yeah Metal that Face. first part was, like, that was so good. Dude, Rhyme so Time. Good. Yeah. Rhyme Time. <laughs> Shala. Shala. Dunban, the hero. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Love yep. Dunban. And, like, the, the, like, the scope Leaky. of that game is, Leaky. like, <laughs> like... It's just so vast, so vast, yeah. and mm-hmm. like the Music. Wii held it back Music's so great. much. Yes, yeah, but the right. remake that's gonna come out next year, mm-hmm. it's gonna look it's pretty. Gonna, it, it's gonna look the way it deserves. It it, it looked in twenty twelve. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, and mm-hmm. what an interesting world too. Like, uh-huh. Takes place on two giants. Yeah, that's yeah. two yeah. gods. Cool as hell. Awesome. Yeah. You know, that's awesome. Yeah, play the game. Uh, it's really good. Uh huh. Second one. And my second uh-huh. honorable mention is, you know, I I gave this series a lot of shit, and I, you know, some some people in my life were like, "Oh, play it, play it." I'm like, "Nah, this is stupid, it's it's stupid, it's stupid." Uh huh. And if you look at my 3ds, I have over 1,000 hours oh, yeah. in a year span. <laughs> yep. Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh huh. I fucking love this game. <laughs> hours and hours. This Why game, do you love it? I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, you know, you get to plant flowers. You get to pay loans. <laughs> and you, I don't know. It's, you live out your dreams. It's so good. And I, and I hope I have a similar experience with New Horizons. Because, I think you will. You know, and I'm not just like, wow, I played it for 10 minutes. Do you think it's going to be more of a detriment that it's on the Switch as opposed to the smaller 3DS like to you? I don't think so. Yeah. Um, Because it's, like, pretty easy to just open up your DS and play and then, like, close it and then put it away. With the Switch, it feels... With the Switch, you just press the button. Sure, but it's a a bit 
bigger. Mm. You know what I mean? I know it's it's not drastic, like yeah. the you know the size and everything there, but it's not something you put in your pocket. Yeah, a switch true. is not something you put in your pocket. I mean, I did notice when I was when I was playing Link's Awakening like yesterday. I was like on my side, and like, I was playing for like an hour. I was like, my arms hurt. Yeah. <laughs> it just seems slightly more heavy than a Nintendo 3DS. Yeah. <laughs> so I wonder if that might affect your enjoyment of the new Animal Crossing. Maybe. I hope not. I hope not. Because yeah. I want I hope this game to be good. Four, 400,000 hours. Yeah. I hope so, too. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so, too. I'm surprised that wasn't your game of the decade. Nope. Yeah. All right. I'm surprised. Then let's do it, gentlemen. Our let's game do of the decade. David, you go first. Yeah. Me go first. you didn't have any honorable mentions. Yeah, and I've been talking for minutes. like 40 minutes. You're right. You're right. Uh, my game of the decade <gasps> came out May 19th, 2015. Okay. Is... Clearly Wait, obvious. What year? Twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen. Okay. That's not. What Dokkan I'm Battle. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> Dokkan <laughs> Battle. That's my game of the decade. <laughs> um, anyone who knows me knows that this is probably okay. you know, my game of the decade. Yep. It's The Witcher Three. Wild. Oh, yeah. what? <laughs> I, didn't even think that. I didn't even put that on my freaking yep. list. Yep. The Witcher Three. Stupid ass. Uh, this game got me. This mm, game. Yeah. It not only hooked me into the game, it hooked me into every piece of content mm-hmm. that The Witcher has ever had. You like the show? I, I, I love the show. Yeah. A lot of people will say, oh, straight with from the books a little so I don't like it. I don't care. Yeah, super. He does a really good job. He grunts and says fuck. He does. Whoa. He does nice. do that. All the yeah. time. <laughs> did they recreate the hot tub scene yet? They did. Twice. Nice. Oh, my. Twice? <laughs> yeah, twice. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's pretty great. Um, but yeah, the, this game, um, The Witcher 3 was the first game I played in the Witcher series. Mm-hmm. And I played, wow. I played an hour into The Witcher 3, and I was like, I'm stopping here and going back to the first one. The uh, like, first one. Yeah, and I immediately like just went back, played Witcher 1, played Witcher mm. 2, and then continued 3. Jeez. And then went back and read all the books. And I'm like, it just, the world got me mm. in like a way that nothing else really had. Well, very few things ever have. Um, where like they just, they do a really good job at setting up not only the characters and, and the story of what's going on beyond the characters. Yes. Um, and they tell you why everything is happening, which I find really important when it comes mm. to storytelling. Yes. You know? You like they explain, you know, what is a witcher? Why are these wars happening? Like, what are the like political motivations of these characters? What what are the personal motivations of these characters? And they just do such a good job. And uh, it's just uh, never it just underestimate. Gets me. gets me. Never underestimate good world building. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I laughed. I cried. I put. I played this game like three times, a hundred hours plus each time. And like, I want to do it again now. The TV shows out. Damn. Uh, it's just. Uh, yeah you must be hooked me in the world. for cyberpunk then i am because yeah not only is the game great but the company that made it yeah you know the games CD are always CD going Project on sales yeah. they, they they do a really good job at like making sure the games are as good as possible mm-hmm. and i'm very excited for cyberpunk but, yeah that's... i hear the switch port's very good i, I hope so yeah I surprisingly switch, but... mm-hmm. i would mm, i want to i might get it for the switch but get, i don't know and the game is beautiful it's mm-hmm. like one of the best looking games i've ever seen not as beautiful on switch because it's yeah, it's a switch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. but they got it to run, which is just yeah. shocking enough. On yeah, it's a very demanding PC game, so mm-hmm. I'm surprised they got it to run. Oh, but yeah, it's mm-hmm. that will that's game my game of, the decade. of the decade, and it's probably gonna I'm probably gonna keep playing it next decade more and more. So. Damn, yeah, that's really when you know it's good. It. Yep, just keep playing. That's 2015. 2015. Yep. Jesus. Yep, Damn. four years ago. All right, Blake. Oh, what is your? Game of the decade. So David went to 2015 mm-hmm. in the middle. Yep. I'm going right in the beginning. Oh my oh, god! March 14th, 2010. Oh, Pokemon Soul Silver, baby. Oh, oh my nice. god! The best fucking <laughs> Pokemon game to ever come out Damn. ever. Yeah, that so. game is so fucking good. It made me poop my pants. Listen. Damn you, Blake. So, I want to play it now. Damn <laughs> I want to replay that damn listen, game. It's great. Listen. It's great. Listen. Mm-hmm. So fucking. All right. Everyone shut the fuck Let, up. Let's, let's go. Let's let's recap. Let's recap. <laughs> so we got. Yeah. I'm going to put the, uh, the the Arthur flashback of sounds in there. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to give you them so you can do it. So. Uh, fire. Uh, Pokemon uh, Ruby. Right. I was like, Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great game. Played it. Played a little yep. bit of Emerald. I don't think I owned it, but I played it. I was oh, like, I yeah, it's Emerald. great. I played the shit Gen 3, yeah. baby. Woo! Yep. Right? Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. I didn't have a DS. And so when Gen 4 came out, I was like, I don't want to play this. So you, this so, game looks like it sucks. Why is he? Are you a cotton? <laughs> little kid. You know, Diamond and Pearl. I'm all like poopy butt cheek. Right? Oh, oh, poopy, poopy butt cheek. Oh, 
much lax, more like butt cheeks, right? Much lax. <laughs> you know, you know star lax pre evolution. More, more like mirror lax. <laughs> <laughs> more like laxative, right? So. I was like, ugh, you know, stupid. You know, I don't I don't need to play that. And Kobe was like, I have a DS. I'm going to play that Yu-Gi-Oh game. And I was like, wow, cool. So eventually, that was me. So eventually <laughs> wow. I got a DS, uh, a DS Lite, right? Mm-hmm. The crimson red one. And I was like, wow. hmm, I could play Pokemon. But I didn't buy it. Um, I, I borrowed Pokemon Diamond from my bro- uh, brother, my cousin. And um, I played. I was like, "Wow, you know, this is why I've been missing. This is this is decent." And that's it. Mm-hmm. And this was uh, late 29, 29, 2009. And then I notice, because so before this, Pokemon Crystal, number one game, sure. Pokemon game ever, game. ever right? Game. Love yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Gen two, mm, mm, spicy meatball. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then they announced Soul Silver, Heart Gold, oh. coming out. 2009 for Japan, 2010 for North America. Yep. I was like, he oh, just, shit. Just squeezed it in. Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> and, you know, I was back on the Pokemon hype train. Like, I fell off. You know, Gen 4 wasn't for me. Even though, I guess this is technically I Gen never, 4. I never played Gen 4. Mm. And, you know, I got it. And I was like, wow, this is the greatest Pokemon game I've ever played in my life. It, yeah. it is. I put a million of hours in it. Multiple playthroughs. Yep. God, I really want to replay so that now. Fucking good. And the music is so damn yeah. good. Uh-huh. And they I appreciate this mechanic where they're like, Oh, we have a little device where you can switch to the previous soundtrack. Like the, the, yeah, 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 yeah. the chip tune yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. More games need that. I agree. Yeah. More Sa- games need soundtrack that. Soundtrack options are yeah. never not a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they should have had that great. in the Link's Awakening thing. They should have had I'm that. I'm surprised they didn't. In yeah. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I still haven't beaten that game. Yeah. Yeah, because it ain't Soul Silver. It ain't Soul it Silver, ain't, boys. It ain't, it ain't Soul Silver. It ain't. Lugia over ho every day. Yes. Soul Silver, my number one game of the decade. That's a good one. Baby. Yeah. That's a good one. Damn. Colby. Yeah. Colby. Game of the decade, 2016. It's all on you. My game of the decade, uh-huh. 2010 through <laughs> 2019. Uh-huh. What year? Uh, what year is it? It is 2016, oh. September 15th. Yes. Wow. Init- the initial release date. Of Only a few years ago. Uh, Persona 5. What? Really? Persona 5 is my game of the decade. Really? I. Wait, that came out in 2016? Yeah. What the hell? Damn. Yeah. Time flies. It's kind of because I I played it this year. Yeah, like in January, mm-hmm. I think I played it a while ago. Um, oh man, I I can't like gush about this game enough. I just I really love a game that its story enraptures me. Yeah. Uh, and Persona has the perfect aesthetic that that I love. The perfect setting that Tokyo that I like. I like modern like postmodern settings. Yeah. Um, like fantasy stuff is great and all but get me an rpg where i'm in the middle of tokyo like Mm -hmm. doing stuff and i I adore the mechanics are fun the characters are i love all the characters uh it's just a story right it's just a book that i wish i could read over and over and over again and um i I could i did i did i'm gonna stop myself because i could talk about this for the rest of the night it's I, lo- I was messaging you as I was playing it, like, whoa, you know, the twists and turns that I, yeah. I love. And I like Persona 4 a lot. Like, you let me, David let yeah. me borrow that, and I got to play on his Vita. Mm-hmm. I got to play Persona 4 and love that game. But it was missing a little something for me, mm-hmm. I think. Um, I don't, I can't, even now I can't really say what it was missing. Um, maybe, like, an end game that I wasn't really feeling. Yeah. But, uh. This one just went balls to the wall, and I yeah, they, appreciate it. They perfected it. the Persona formula. Every time a new one, a game in that series comes out, it's always my favorite. Well, it's it's style, right? Yeah. It's style incarnate. That's yeah. what that game is. And it's going to be until, like, 2025 till we even hear about a new Persona, because yeah. there's some pretty big gaps between, you know, it's like four or five years. Before it's usually Persona like a console games. generation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, whatever it is, I'm buying it. I, I, just, yeah. I, I can't look away from it. Persona 5. My game of the decade. So you said, um, oh, just set the game in Tokyo and I'll like it. You know? uh, Would you like Tokyo Mirage Sessions? I want to get that what is when that? it oh, comes out for Switch. Switch. That's the Fire Emblem Persona um, it's m- like a, crossover. 
It's oh, like an yeah. idle game. I forgot yeah. that was a thing. Because yeah. it was for the Wii U, so nobody played it. Uh, I own it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for Wii U. Uh, I definitely oh. want to play it. Will I think it's good? Mm-mm. <laughs> Will I still play it? Mm-hmm. Will I pay full price? Mm-mm. Is it coming to Switch? Is that what's happening? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's being re-released. I'm good. I see. Gentlemen. Mm-hmm. It's been a long decade. Mm-hmm. Has been. Been through a lot. Yep. Done a lot together. Separate. Uh-huh. Our friends, family, loved ones, fans. Mm-hmm. Started a YouTube channel. Yep. Worked out pretty well. I want to point out something. Uh-huh. We ended the year yeah. last year with 76 subscribers. Wow. And we have since more than doubled. We are 157. Wow. Awesome. All thanks to you guys. Mm-hmm. All thanks to you guys. Uh, and it's going to be another great year, yeah. another great decade yeah. for us yeah. as we go into 2020 subsequently on. Uh, hope you guys have a happy, happy holidays, good New Year's, yeah. and uh, I'll see you two next year yeah. on this show. Maybe. 356 Yeah. Oh, now. by the way, I'm leaving. I'll see you. Bye. Yeah, bye.